Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. Now, this part of the workshop, I try not to show you too much because this is a dumping ground for mountains of rubbish and also my wife's stuff and the washing machine, tumble dryer. So I try not to show you this side of it very much. Because I am starting to expand and I'm getting more stuff, I'm running out of space. So hopefully you watched my last video, which was a lovely update on what's happening in 2024. But if you didn't, I'm gonna link it to it right here so you can go and watch it. Now in that video, I explained what my plans were for the shop. So obviously my beautiful April Wilkinson cart is gonna come down, or at least part of it anyway. So I'm gonna rip some of that out, make some space, tidy up, sort out that stuff so I can put a laser there. So that is what we're going to be doing in the first bit of this video. If anyone fancies coming to give me a hand, that would be great because I don't want to do all of this stuff. <laughs> Let's go. So as I said in the other video, the laser is 400 by 400, which means it should fit about there, if I move this. So this one, I think I'm gonna pull out, twist, and put back in. Now these shelves aren't fixed annoyingly, so I'm gonna to have to fix them first. Not a problem, I'm a woodworker, I can do that. One minute, 37 seconds later. So it's not ideal because the baskets don't fit with everything in it. <laughs> I'm hoping she'll ignore that, but it doesn't look too bad, it looks all right. May have to put it back. I don't know if the wife's gonna be very happy. Ah well, let's go. So now that this is a little bit tidier and I've got the space here, it's time to put this auto, auto I don't know how to pronounce it, but the Auto Laser Mask 2 Pro S2 laser that I bought. I'm gonna get it built, get it fitted, and then we're gonna test it. The plan will be to build a cover around this so it's a little bit more protective and then I'll think about smoke extraction as well because I know that's quite a big deal when it comes to lasers. But firstly, I need to get this built so I can start engraving the mallets that I'm making for Maker Central. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I know that lasers are massively expensive. This one was 250 quid, which I know is a lot of money to people, and it's a lot of money to me. This is a significant investment into my business. So I wanna get this right. So this is gonna take me a lot of time to read, fine tune, because I don't wanna mess it up. I really, really don't. So like one thing I can see is you've got a foreign plug, Yes, we've got an adapter, but I'd need another adapter for that. So I will probably get a new plug for it. This is the actual laser that I got. It is an LU2-4-SF. I've got to admit, I'm not 100% sure what that means. I can't remember. I will find out and put some more information up.
So the main issue with this part of the garage is it's just a dumping ground. So I need to rearrange this so I can make better use of it. All of this wood here is going to get cut up for mallets at some point. I just haven't got round to it yet. So the wife doesn't want to be on camera while I do other things, so I'm just going to have to move on and do the other things on my own and come back to this later. So this will just magically look better at some point. It's now the sad time that I'm going to have to break down the lumber cart. This is going to be more hard than I'd like to admit, I think. Just because this is precious to me. I've had this for a long time now. But it needs to be done. I'm keeping half of it still, so it's not the end of the world, but still. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be. I'm just gonna do it. I, just need, I need to stop worrying about it. I just need to do it. Gonna go and have a little cry, alright? 15 minutes later. Right, so it's done. And it almost looks like it was purposely built that small, which is nice. So I've moved the lumberjack 75 litre um, dust extractor to the end, which means this is being able to take up less space because it used to come out to it back here. The once I tidy off the fitness player which I really need to stop doing and cover it in crap is move that one to here because I want that further away from the door and that's just where it's going to live temporarily so I'll still drag it out to use it with the machines it just means that it's not covering the front of the garage so I get the light to come back in Okay, so I have been in full-blown tidying mode so I have tidied some of this, I still need to do more but the problem is these giant bits of six mil plywood are getting in the way now. So I need to get them onto there before I do anything else because I just want them out of the way. Okay, so I thought hot glue would work, but apparently not. So I'm gonna get my bit of rotary and we'll glue it on instead. Okay, let's see how it goes. Hmm. Okay, so I need, definitely need a magnet on each one. Maybe one in the middle as well. But that looks better already, doesn't it? Okay, more magnets. Completely run out now. Well, let's see. Ah, it's better. Right, let's do some quick upgrades. So we're going to do a little bit of upgrade on the table saw. We're going to sort out the giant axe and we're going to sort out the hammer.
close your eyes and find the light You got nothing left to lose tonight So last upgrade for the workshop is to finally finish the zero clearance inset plate that my dad made for me. The only thing I haven't done is put the leveling screws in. So I'm going to line these all up, I'm going to snip them off and then it should be perfectly ready for the table saw. So, there you go. Is it perfect? No. Is it finished? No. But it's done for the minute. I've got my amazing weapons on the wall. They're finally off the floor. I'm finally ready for display. Still got my eight pull hammer up. All of this is looking nice. We won't talk about this for a minute because I've turned it into a dumping ground again. The laser's set up. The back's looking clean. The dust extraction's at the back. <gasps> <clears throat> the April Wilkinson car is half still here. Shop upgrade two done. Now I can actually start getting stuff ready for Maker Central. The template for one of the giveaway items has arrived and I can start building that. I still need to finish all the mallets. I've got loads of wood to mill up. So I've got to get my little tush moving and start making stuff for Maker Central. Remember, link in the description if you want tickets. There's a little code in there for you. But whatever happens, whether I see you at Makers or whether I don't, I'll see you what I'm, whether I'm doing next. See ya!